Hello, Chaz Marler from Paradise Paradise here. And it's that time of year. Time to arbitrarily look back on the year that was and list one's most and least most favorite board gaming experiences from the last 12 months. Hoo-hoo! I, myself, began this annual inessential mental exercise by reviewing the list of games that I played this year. And when I did so, I discovered that it included quite a few social deduction games. Well, that's no surprise though, because I really enjoy them and they make me smile. But while reminiscing on the actual gameplay experiences, I discovered something striking. I don't really like them and they make me frown. Confused? <laughs> I know I am, but that may be the AA battery I accidentally swallowed this morning. But also confusing is the question of why. Why would this genre of games that sounds like a perfect fit for me on paper, and that I'm always excited to try, leave me so disappointed? Well, perhaps it's the sheer volume of them that we were inundated with this year. I mean, for example, BoardGameGeek.com lists no less than 190 titles and expansions classified as deduction games that were released in 2015. Yes, social deduction games were hot in 2015. So hot, in fact, that Love Letter was repeatedly re-released as Love Letter Hobbit, Love Letter Adventure Time, and Love Letter... Batman. All variations of essentially the exact same game. Fortunately, releasing essentially the same game over and over and over again is a stunt that no other social deduction game repeated in 2015. It is a statement that you can make if you choose to ignore One Night Ultimate Werewolf Daybreak, One Night Ultimate Vampire, and One Night Resistance. Recycling these game engines is starting to make social deduction the Mike Myers of board games. Oh, they may seem enjoyable for the first few minutes, but after a while you, you can't help but feel like you've seen all of this before. Oh, behave. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <yeah>. behave! <laughs> yeah. Oh, behave, baby. <laughs> Please stop now. Worse yet is a growing stigma surrounding social deduction games in my own gaming circles, which is preventing other, possibly innovative games, from hitting the table. I've brought my copy of Dark Moon, a game I'm really excited about playing, to no less than four separate board gaming events. Yet, it still has yet to be played because its presence has been greeted with the response, oh. Another social deduction game. Yippee. So, social deduction games, I, I want to like you, and I, I haven't given up on you, but I'm starting to think I like the idea of you more than I actually like you. But what about the viewers out there? When you guys think back on your gaming experiences, is there a particular game or genre of game that you really like in theory, but in practice consistently leaves you disappointed? If so, let me know in the comments below. I myself, I've brought that. Let's do that again and do it right. Don't forget it is Dark, Dark Moon. Moon.